so here we discuss some questions uh, so based on the uh, acid base theories okay so see the first one bromide bromide is a lowry base lowry base means nothing but a branched lowry base as well as it is also works as lewis base how it is possible so here it's very simple the bromide means br minus also according to lowry branched lowry theory it is a base and also according to lewis also it is a base how how we means uh, so br minus accepting h plus and there is a formation of hbr takes place in the reaction means uh, br minus can act accept a proton therefore bromide is a bronsted is a bronsted lowry base then how it act as a so this is the first case if you see the second case so it is the works as lewis base simply br minus so br minus can donate br minus can donate an electron pair so therefore br minus is a lewis base means uh, some compounds uh, some acids or some bases can be expressed with the help of lewis theory and also bronsted theory but very is rare compounds are there which cannot which can be explained with the help of only one theory okay if you see the electron deficient compounds like bf3 bcl3 alcl3 they generally shows as the character we can observe it but they their as the character cannot be explained with the help of a bronsted theory their as the nature can be explained only with the help of lewis theory but in the question it is given bromide bromide uh, With the help of so according to Bronsted theory, it acts as acid. So it acts as base. According to Lewis theory, also it works as a base. Okay. Let us see the next question. Okay. See the next question. So here, CO, the carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a neutral oxide. If you see, observe it. We are able to know. with its properties so we can say it is a neutral oxide so it is given already it is a neutral oxide but it is defined as lewis base as yes, exactly it is correct it works as a lewis base so how it is possible so here if you see the what is the why you are discussing about the carbon monoxide separately means if you know the carbon oxide the carbon dioxide sulfur oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide so all these oxides are generally acidic these oxides are acidic and on the hydrolysis on the hydrolysis also uh, co2 gives on the hydrolysis reaction hydrolysis means uh, combining with water so it forms uh, a carbonic acid same sulfur dioxide also forms a uh, h2so3 This sulfur trioxide also forms on hydrolysis H2SO4. Means uh, these oxides of sulfur and carbon dioxide on hydrolysis forms acids. Acid means itself they are also works as acids. But here the difference is carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is on hydrolysis it does not form any acidic oxides. So at least uh, CO2 forms carbonic acid. SO2 forms sulfurous acid. S O three forms sulfuric acid, but but carbon monoxide on hydrolysis does not give any acidic oxides, any acids. Sorry, any acids. That's why uh, we said it is a neutral oxide. It is a neutral oxide, but uh, it is treated as it is treated as a Lewis base. So how it is possible means, sir. Uh, so because. Uh, carbon monoxide carbon monoxide acts as an electron pair donor electron pair donor and it also form 
so many number of complex compounds so very this was important about the carbon monoxide is a neutral oxide and it works as a waste base okay so it also forms many number of complex compounds complex compounds and in these compounds carbon monoxide works as ligand carbon monoxide works as ligand means uh, so in the if you see the many complex complex compounds the complex compounds are the formation of complex compound is a special property of a, a transition element that is the d block elements in rare case the sodium magnesium aluminum also able to form a complex compound but very rarely but it is a general and special property of transition elements in which the metal ion early in the lewis concept uh, lewis acid base theory we explained that uh, the, in the in a complex the uh, metal ion is present at the, as a central atom which is acts as the electron pairs so, means in a complex compound metal ion works as lewis acid whereas the other chemical species which donate the electron pair to it are known as ligands in the many complex compounds uh, carbon monoxide works as the ligand means it works as a lewis base as it donates electron pair therefore it is the, it is uh, known as the best examples of lewis bases see the next question aluminum cation aluminum cation is acidic white so we can explain this uh, with the help of uh, lewis theory okay because al aluminum ion means that is al plus 3 al plus 3 what is our general config electronic configuration of aluminum minus 2 31 so by losing uh, this six electrons okay becomes uh, al plus 3 means what is the configuration say 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s0 and 3p also 0 okay so even means al plus 3 is having vacant orbitals vacant orbitals we know that uh, all cations not about all this uh, the slip the all these discussions we know that all cations are lewis acid because cations means electron deficient simply we can write the all cations are electron deficient therefore they are ready to accept the electron pair and according to lewis theory they are acids okay but here the separate the question is given so i have to explain it so due to the presence of due to the presence of uh, available orbitals due to the available empty orbitals to accept uh, electron pairs al plus 3 works as acid so even So here the other importance of Al plus three is that it is also able to form complex compounds just like a transition elements. Okay, in the last question we explained the complex compounds are mainly formed by uh, d block elements, but rare casely, rare cases sodium, aluminium also forms uh, the complex ion. This is AlF six minus three ion. So actually, it is formed. the central metal ion is al plus 3 the six fluoride ions donates an electron pair forming al f6 minus 3 here al plus 3 works as a metal ion here six fluorides six fluorides act as ligands okay Let's see in the next question. So silicon tetrachloride is acidic, but CCl4 carbon tetrachloride is not an acidic one. Why? 
okay so, so why are comparing silicon tetrachloride to carbon tetrachloride in the question means uh, so actually the silicon belongs to silicon belongs to 14th group and carbon also belongs to 14th group even they belongs to 14th group the ccl4 is not an acidic ssl4 ssl4 is acidic so first we see the position of carbon in the ccl4 in the ccl4 if you observe the carbon so what is the general configuration of carbon there is 1s2 2s2 2p2 nothing but we can write 2px1 y1 and 2p0 generally carbon uh, takes and uh, works in the bond formation in the excited state the electron is shifted to here forming px1 py1 okay pz1 they undergo the hybridization and form the four bonds with the four chlorines means uh, so there is uh, no vacant orbitals are present so, so whatever the orbitals are present whatever the subshells whatever the orbitals are present or are filled with the electron there is no empty orbitals are present means uh, the carbon tetrachloride the carbon cannot accept the electron pair simply it does not uh, act, uh, act as a Lewis uh, acid so but if you see the position of uh, silicon tetrachloride the silicon tetrachloride what is the central atom so silicon we know the silicon position 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p2 and there is also 3d0 is also present okay even in the excited state if it is participate in the excited state this comes under 3s1 3px1 3py1 3pz1 all the orbitals are filled with electrons but there is a 3d vacant orbitals are there 3d subshell 3d subshell is vacant so third shell is present and third shell is there automatically 3s is there 3p is there 3d is there first shell is 1s second shell is 2 2s 2p third shell is 3s 3p 3d in the fourth shell 4 is there 4s 4p 4d 4f so aluminum is there third shell is there 3s 3p are filled but 3d is vacant means here so this is silicon okay uh, silicon third shell is present third shell and 3d is there 3d is total vacant is there so it is ready to accept the electron pairs that's why even carbon silicon both are having a four electrons in their valency due to the absence of d orbitals in the carbon ccl4 does not work as acid and due to the presence of a vacant d orbital we have to write a sentence that uh, due to the presence of vacant d orbitals and due to the absence of d orbitals in the carbon ccl4 does not work as acid whereas ccl4 works as a lewis acid now you see a question that hydroxyl ion so hydroxyl ion means we know that uh, oh minus oh minus is treated as a, a strong base give the reason so actually the OH- is the base it can be explained with the help of a Bronsted theory nothing but Bronsted Lowry theory we can explain it with the help of Bronsted Lowry theory so according to Bronsted Lowry theory we know that uh, which uh, according to Bronsted Lowry theory we know that uh, in an acid base pair in a conjugate acid base pair if one is a weaker, the other one is a stronger one. Okay, so here the OH minus, OH minus uh, generally it accepts an H plus. It accepts H plus and forms H2O. So it accepts H plus, therefore, sorry, it accepts H plus, nothing but proton. So therefore, it is a base means uh, the basic character of OH minus can be explained with the help of uh, this uh, Bronsted theory easily. And if you see the strength, that's why it is treated as a strong base. Strong, why it is treated as a strong base means uh, so if you see the H2O, 
conjugate base. What is the conjugate base of uh, H2O? Conjugate base is a uh, OH minus. The conjugate base of H2O is OH minus. We know that uh, how to write the conjugate base of a com any species? Just remove the H plus. How to write the conjugate acid of a species? Just add the H plus. Here, OH, we are discussing about the OH minus basic character. OH minus is a conjugate base of H2O. Conjugate base of H2O. So we know that uh, H2O is a weak acid. H2 is a weak acid, so obviously, so therefore, this is a strong. This is a strong base. Means uh, this is strength. So basic character of OH minus can be explained with the help of also Lewis base also. Lewis acid base theory also. Because uh, according to Lewis theory, all anions, all anions are Lewis bases. Means they are ready to donate the electron pair. Minus charge in the excess in electrons. Excess electrons but they are ready to donate the electrons. Means all anions works as basis according to Lewis theory. So OH minus also works as a, it, it's, its basic character also can be explained with the help of uh, Lewis theory and also with the help of Bronster theory because it is accepting H plus. So why did it read as a strong base? In terms of Lewis theory, we can't explain the strength of the bases and acids. That was the main drawback in the Lewis theory. Thus, it defines the acids and bases. It does not uh, explain about the strength of acids and bases. It means uh, some are having strong, some are having weak character. Why? It cannot be explained in Lewis theory. It means the OH- minus is a strong base. It can be explained only with the help of Bronsted theory. So, as a which was uh, with the help of a conjugate acid base pair concept. Okay. So, after the questions, uh, uh, we see the simple topic that is a comparison of a uh, uh, acid base theory that is uh, Lewis theory, Bronsted theory, and Arrhenius theory. Okay. So if you if you define if you see the definition second to Arrhenius theory acids are that just uh, in terms of uh, H plus and in terms of OH minus the acids are the chemical species which uh, increases the H plus and concentration in aqueous solution that is treated acid that is about Arrhenius that according to Arrhenius. If you if you see the base according to the Arrhenius, so that is a in terms of OH minus. So the chemical species which increases the OH minus and concentration in its aqueous solution, that treated as a base. Means if you see the Arrhenius theory, acid is defined in terms of H plus and base is defined in terms of OH minus, and both are only in aqueous solutions. If you see Bronsted theory, so Bronsted theory in the Bronsted theory. There is only one concept is there. Only one concept means uh, the acid and base both are defined uh, in terms of H plus, in terms of protons only. The acid means proton donors, base means proton acceptors. That is a comparison of Arrhenius and Lewis theory. And one more important, uh, whereas Arrhenius theory explains only in aqueous solution, Bronster theory there is no limitations are there. There is no limit limitation for solution. It applicable for aqua solution and also non aqua solutions. Next is the Lewis theory. So Lewis theory also, also defines the acids and bases with the help of a single concept that is a in terms of electron pair. If electron pair donors, electron pair donors are called Lewis bases. Electron pair acceptors are called as Lewis acids. But in Lewis acid, they must possess an uh, empty orbital. In Lewis bases, they must possess, the central atom must possess uh, a lone pair of electron. And there is a formation of coordinate covalent bond is there. So that is a comparison of three theories in for definition. Next, if you see the acid base reaction for three theories, in three theories, in Arrhenius theory, the combination of H plus and OH minus. H plus were released from acid, OH minus were released from base. 
the combination of H plus and OH minus giving water is known as neutralization, nothing but acid base reaction according to the Arrhenius theory. Generally, this was a standard, uh, it was treated as a standard formula that acid plus gives uh, salt and water is a neutralization, but it was according to, according to Arrhenius only. So, if you see the acid base reaction in Bronsted Lowry theory, in Bronsted Lowry theory, in an acid base, when combined together, there is a transfer of H plus takes place. Means uh, in the neutralization, according to Bronsted Lowry theory, there is a transfer of H plus from acid to base takes place. There is no uh, formation of a specific bond. This there is a transfer of H plus takes place from acid to base takes place. Next, uh, if you see the Lewis theory, Lewis theory is having a big drawback in its acid base reaction. According to Lewis theory, in the acid base reaction, there is a transfer of electron pair takes place. Electron pair, the transfer of electron pair from the transfer of electron pair from base to acid takes place. He not 100% transfer. The transferred electron, the donated electron pair is shared by base atoms of base and also atoms of acid and there is a formation of coordinate covalent bond is there if we compare the three, the three theories acid base reaction is a, is good in arrhenius theory is good in a Bronsted theory but it is totally as a defect in lewis theory because uh, in generally acid base reactions are very instantaneous reaction means uh, they are taken as an example for very fast reactions instantaneous reactions but if you follow the Lewis theory acid based reactions are slow reactions because the formation of dative bond the formation of coordinate covalent bond is a is generally is a slow process means uh, in the acid based reaction according to Lewis theory there is a formation of coordinate covalent bond dative bond is there but it is a slow process but experimental acid base reactions are very fast reactions so this is the comparison of acid base reactions in Arrhenius, Bronsted, Lauris and Lewis theory next is the strength of acids and bases strength means uh, we know that some acids bases are strong or they are weak or there so why it is so it is explained in Arrhenius theory that the acids which releases more number of which are capable to release more number of H plus they treated as strong acids which are uh, having no cap which are having less capability to release less number of H plus which are having capability to release less number of H plus they are as weak acids which are accept the more H plus strong acids strong bases which are which can accept uh, less number of uh, sorry arrhenius which are releases more number of OH minus that is a strong basis which are releases less number of OH minus they are weak basis I mean Arrhenius to explain the strength of acid basis somewhat good okay not uh, it is not proved exactly correctly but Bronsted theory is, uh, is perfectly suitable to know the strength of acids and bases I can to this theory the proton donors proton donors means uh, which can donate the more number of H plus strong acids which can uh, uh, donate the less number of H plus weak acids which can capable to, to take the more number of H plus strong bases which are having less capability uh, to take the H plus to take the proton they are weak bases but in the there is a in the Lewis theory there is no words are there is no sentences are given I can the strength of acids and bases okay Next, the one more thing uh, in the Lewis theory, the some drawbacks are main drawback is a uh, formation of dative bond. If you see the main acids uh, HCl, H2SO4, and the main bases uh, uh, potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide are not at all ready for the bond form, not at all ready for the formation of a dative bond. Okay, next in the Bronte theory, main uh, defect is it does not explain the perfect acidic nature of a. Uh, Electron deficient compound that is BF3, ALCL3, BCL3 and even diborane like that compounds. Means uh, in all theories some drawbacks are there. But uh, in these three theories, 
Arrhenius theory having uh, more drawbacks. Even it explains about the strength of axis and bases perfectly. But there is many drawbacks are there. Means many number of acids are there. Many number of bases are there. Which cannot be covered. Which cannot be explained. Their character with the help of Arrhenius theory. But maximum number of acids and bases are can be explained or covered by taking by applying bronchial lowry theory and Lewis theory. Means uh, no theory is not no theory is hundred percent perfect to explain the acids and bases. But by comparing all these theories, Lewis theory, bronchial theory is the better when compared to the Arrhenius theory. Okay, but we can't say which is the number one theory, Lewis or Arrhenius, Lewis or Bronchial means. Uh, both are having some defects and both are having some achievements. Okay. Next, uh, simple thing we can say. So, the bronze, all bronzed acids are Lewis acids. And all bronzed bases are also Lewis bases. Because, uh, so bronzed theory is in terms of H plus. That is uh, in terms of positive charge. Whereas, Lewis theory is based on electron pairs. Electron pairs, electron pair means uh, that is negative charge. Means uh, Lewis theory explains the acids and bases in terms of negative charge. Whereas Bronchial theory explains the acids and bases in terms of positive charge. So therefore, so covered the definitions are opposite to it. So definitions are opposite to now. Charge is also opposite to the maximum the theories have becomes equal. Because the uh, Lewis acid at least defines the H plus donor, proton donor. Proton donor means a positive donor. And then Lewis acid at least defines the negative acceptor. So positive donor, positive donor, and then automatically it is a negative acceptor. For example, uh, if you see the bronze at base, bronze at base and which accept the H plus positive and accept just so that they maybe it is having the negative character. So all negative characters are treated as the Lewis bases. Means the maximum all bronzed acids are Lewis acids. All bronzed bases are Lewis bases. Okay.